Welcome back to the channel. So a couple of days I have not been feeling well. I've been kind of on the sick side. <laughs> and I'm still trying to get over that. But I've been really wanting to make this video. So here we go. Okay. So what we are doing today. This PC right here is getting upgraded with these parts. We are literally upgrading the motherboard to a B450. We're upgrading the CPU to a Ryzen 7 2700X. And then we're going to 32 gigs of Trident Z RGB RAM. I basically want to benchmark this computer first. And then after I benchmark it, I want to know what it compares. So basically, we're going to run this one on usertestbench.com. We're going to get a score for it. And then we're upgrading the RAM, the CPU, and the motherboard. And then we're going to test it again and compare the two. Let's do this. done finally I got it all done I cannot wait to test this sucker out hopefully I get way better results since we've completely upgraded the entire shindig okay Ooh, we got some RGB showing up on the motherboard right there and three two one <music> So the statistics, B450F, Ryzen 7, 2700, 8 core, and we're running speeds of 3700 MHz at DDR4, and we have 327,000, or 32,768 megabytes, which gives you a grand total of 32 gigs, which is basically what you're seeing right there. So this was our score beforehand. As you can see right there, it's the B350, with a Ryzen 5 and it only has 16 gigs. All right, so let's go ahead and test it now. And the results are back, huh? Okay, so this is the old one. I have it brought up over here, a 75, a 69, and then a 60. And then over here we have a 78, which was a 75. This was a 69, now it's a 75. And this was a 60, it is now a 79. Now the good thing, oh, it's reading. Okay, good. So B450, 32 gigs of RAM, Windows 10, everything looks good there. Alrighty, same situation over here. It's just highly better. Now this is before overclocking. I haven't overclocked the CPU and I haven't overclocked the GPU. I just wanted to get a baseline reading. So it literally took me from the, let's see here. There should be a total percentage of this if you go down to the very bottom it'll tell you your total percentage right there the value 59 percent that's the value of the build and then let's go down to the bottom of this one and there's our new value so our new value is i'm sorry it's down here at the bottom our new value is 80 percent so we went from almost a 60 to an 80 which is that's great. That is 21% increase, and I haven't even touched the overclocking yet. So if you guys would like to test your equipment, and it will break it down, it will compare 
what everything is to your other system. See, it tells you what you got. Ryzen 7 2700X, graphics card 1070, King Fast, Corsair, Trident Z RGB. It just gives you a good rating and then it'll tell you how well those individual parts are performing. So there it is. My score average has come up quite a bit. 75, 69, 60 to a 78, a 75, and a 79. So there you have it, guys. Make sure to drop me a like. This right here is real data showing you the difference in just a couple parts. Replacing the motherboard, replacing the CPU, and replacing the RAM. Now, I think that I'm really seeing a major difference in the fact of the RAM. I'm sorry, in fact of the uh, the CPU. The CPU is definitely what's making the difference in the in the two. But yes, make sure to leave me a like, guys. As always, you guys be cool, and we will see y'all in the next one.